everybody. How's it going? Um, as you just saw, and I'm sure from the title you can tell, uh, I'm going to clean this tile floor today. Uh, I don't believe I'm going to get it all done because I do have to work later and uh, I did not anticipate being like super hot and uh, getting sweaty. But here I am. <laughs> so I need to go home and wash my hair before I go to work. Um, and it's like 11 right now. I have to work at 4. So I probably need to leave here by like 1.30 at the latest. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clean this here floor. Um, I thought, uh, cleaning videos have been doing, um, well on my channel lately. So it seems like y'all are really liking that. And I was like, I think that this would be really interesting to see it super clean. Um, I know that obviously these tiles still need to come down. It's going to get dirty again, but at least we can see what it's looking like. And it, um, you know, won't be like super dusty anymore for the time being. So, you know, the more dust we can eliminate in the house and dirt and whatnot, it, I just think it's better in general. Um, yikes. Um, so yeah, I've got some knee pads here from home so I can um, do this on my knees without um, busting them up. I got a couple of brushy brushes. So I got a big and nice uh, bristles on there. And then I got this guy to get in there a little bit easier and then this guy for like grout. So, um, and then I got some like dish gloves and um, so I've got vinegar and baking soda. So, although one of the waters busted open in the bag, um, we'll make it work. It just got a little wet. <laughs> um, and then I got a couple of waters because the water that comes out of the spigot here in the basement comes out kind of like rusty-ish. So I, we don't know what's going on with that, but it's gonna be something that we're gonna need to mess around with. But I didn't think it'd be good for cleaning with. And, um, also, I was trying to find a bucket because I don't think that we have any like clean little buckets around here. And uh, the one in the cleaning aisle, I ended up at the grocery store because I had to get gas in the grocery stores by the gas station. Anyways, um, so instead of going to Lowe's and the only bucket that they had was $11 and it was like a really fancy one. And I was like, no, uh, -uh. so I was like, what am I going to do? And then I was looking um, in another aisle and I saw a, a candy bucket and I was like, that'll work. This will work. I'm just gonna put some water in it to kind of, um, you know, get it a little wet, but I've got the vinegar and the baking soda. So I just really need that to kind of like um, rinse the brush a little bit. So um, yeah, I think I've gone over everything and I think we're gonna start right back here. So let's do it. So, I don't know y'all, over here is where I scrubby scrubbed and then used my steam mop and then like here, over this way and then over this way. It's where I only use the steam mop. Yeah, I guess it looks cleaner over there. I don't know. I grabbed some dish soap 
because we had some upstairs. So I'm gonna try to hit it with that in the water. Not too much soap though, because then it'll be like impossible to get the suds up, but I don't know. Let's see what we can do. y'all so I just scrubbed like right here this line right here with the dish brush and the soap and then I ran over it with the steam mop and I I don't know if I can tell the difference it was like right here between you know around it and where I scrubbed it so I'm like I don't know if this is just pointless trying to scrub this floor because I you know it's over 100 years old I just don't know if it's ever gonna get like pristine again, like I don't, obviously not, but I don't know. I really don't know. Sorry, the lighting in here is kind of intense. Uh, you know, I've got the spotlight cause it's cloudy outside and it's just doing a little too much. And when I was trying to like be next to it or like behind it, it was too dark. So um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might just finish up like this half of the room like over by the windows and whatnot where I got vacuumed that you saw earlier. <laughs> there we go. Like over here and stuff with the, um, the steam mop. And then I don't know, just call it a day because uh, I feel like that the scrubbage might be a little pointless. So yeah, I don't know. Let's just finish mopping it. I don't know. I've got the bucket of water. I'm gonna clear that out so that I can keep rinsing the mop head. So.
this half of the room done. Still kind of drying. It's been a little bit. Um, so right here and like right here is where I scrubbed. And I feel like you can't tell the difference. That's why I ended up uh, mopping everything. Over here is where I use dish soap. Boop, boop, boop. And then here's where I use the baking soda and the vinegar. And I mean, it might be because that stuff's against the wall, but I guess I did use the soap like right here. And there's really not a difference. And then I use the soap right here on this line. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if y'all think it looks any better or I actually scrubbed. So here and like along here. Sorry, the lighting in here is crazy. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Sorry, Caleb's in the kitchen upstairs doing something, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I gotta go to work later. So I thought I'd just, I don't know, do a little experiment down here, see if we can get this floor I don't know, cleaned up. <laughs> and I guess it is clean now, but it doesn't look great. So maybe there's a solution. If you have a solution for cleaning tiles really well, let me know. Uh, so yeah, tried the dish soap, tried baking soda and vinegar. Not so good. So if you got a better idea, let me know in the comments, send me a message, send me an email, whatever. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all on Sunday. Uh, it's Friday now, I'm gonna put this up tomorrow on Saturday. And then uh, Saturday after work as well. So, um, yeah, I will see y'all on Sunday. Okay, take care. Bye.